Two Riviera Beach employees said they tried to fix problems within the city's utility, but couldn't. The city of Riviera Beach sent this notice. It says a water sample tested positive for E. coli. The sample was tested in June 2023, but the notice was sent almost seven months later in January 2024, even though state law requires officials to report the problem to the public within 24 hours. We need to do issue the public notice and we need to do issue it as soon as possible. That's John Armstrong. He's a senior engineer for the Riviera Beach Special Utilities District. Tonight, he says he attended a meeting with the health department over that issue. But he says his efforts to get management to inform the public about the problem failed repeatedly. And I brought that up several times after that meeting that same month. And the public notice didn't go out for the following year. So Armstrong was asked if those staff members still work for the city. But assistant city manager Deidre Jacobs cut him off. It's been bothering me for a long time. You see this on the news. Obviously, he's not feeling comfortable. Jacobs oversaw the utility department's management team including utility director Michael Lowe. <laughs> Council fired Lowe over the issue. It's unclear if Jacobs was aware of the issue as well. I was supplying him with all the evidence. And that's Emilio Brown. He works in collections. Tonight, he revealed staff asked him to not report certain problems related to sewer. And the issue is currently being investigated by the Office of Inspector General. I hope I gave it to him. So there will be a report from the OIG that's going to be separate from the water. These employees were not aware they would be testifying tonight. We did reach out to the health department and also the OIG in Palm Beach County late tonight. We have not heard back yet. In Riviera Beach, Ethan Stein, WPTV News.